Hey, welcome to our Tuesday talk. We have our lovely nurse, Hillary, who was our test subject for the Dysport versus Botox. We injected her six days ago, so we're gonna get Hillary's input on, number one, Hillary, um, tell us about what it was like the day of the injection, and always be very complimentary towards your surgeon. <laughs> Could you tell any difference the day we did the injection? So the day of the, um neither neurotoxin had had really kicked in but the injections felt identical i couldn't tell the difference between the actual needle going in and injecting botox versus the needle going in and injecting this port okay so then going forward uh your early experience like two days out three days out can you tell a difference did one seem to work before the other yeah, the Botox seemed to kick in before the Dysport. I still have more movement on the Dysport side. Okay. Um, so the Botox was a denser block and it kicked in sooner. But how, how do they feel to you? Can you can you tell difference? Does it feel different? Yeah, so the left side, the Botox side, has consistently felt lighter. As in, I, I feel like my forehead isn't sitting as, high, as hard on my eyebrows and eye. Mm -hmm. um, the Dysport side, even though it still has more movement, feels heavier as in this this whole area feels like the muscles are denser and have um have less movement even though they have more movement so so that's interesting so that you felt like the botox came on sooner when i looked at your pictures i thought the disport side came on sooner around your eyes i couldn't tell much difference on the forehead and the botox even though it blocks the muscle more it's harder like if you go to raise your eyebrows you see that you have more movement on the right than you do on the left but the side that you have the more movement, the this port, your right side, feels heavier to mm -hmm. you. Okay, so only six days into it, your early interpretation, what, what do you like and why? I prefer Botox overall. Um, both have been successful at diminishing wrinkles in the crow's feet area and the forehead. The Botox has been a little bit more successful, I feel like, specifically on the, the left side of my forehead. Um, and I love that it feels lighter. Right, so so there you have it. So what early on, she likes the Botox. We're obviously going to keep doing updates to see how long does this last, and what one person's impression is is not going to be the same for another person. Uh, so there are patients who love Dysport, and there's patients who swear by Botox, and we have both of those available. But we're going to keep up with Hillary, and quite possibly we might do some other patients do something very similar to what we've done to Hillary and see what everybody's experience is. But uh, you'll find in the comments that people have strong feelings one way or another. So thank you.